Would you rather print a shirt like this or like this? Should you get an HTV Ron Auto Press? Keep watching and find out. T-shirt help desk. What's up guys? Gary T-shirt help desk here. And uh, if you are starting or have started a t-shirt business, you probably already know that the heat press is probably the most important piece of equipment you own. Yes, HTV Runt sent this out to me. You can see me unboxing it, right? Now let me show you how it works. You can go right here. This is your power button. This is the temp button. It's just really simple. You press this, go up and down. That's your time, same thing press it up and down here's your slide out tray this is your pad where your substrate goes right you can uh, fasten those underneath nice and secure and this is it side by side with a fusion HQ you can see that it's much smaller and it's a fraction of the weight you can also see that the platen on the fusion is much bigger 16 by 20 the HTV run is 15 by 15 so the big difference is the lever versus the button. With any standard heat press, you can dial in your pressure. On the auto press, you don't have that option. You have something different. So if you take a look, you press this button to press. You go down here and you can set your settings depending on whether it's a sublimation or vinyl. And then there's this auto feature. Now when you press this, all you have to do is when you push your garment in, it automatically will press down. This is great for large orders when you have to do things over and over again. So we're gonna test this puppy out. We're gonna do TTF, heat transfer vinyl, a heat transfer, and sublimation. Because a heat press is required for almost every application. All right, this is our DTF transfer. We threw the shirt on, added the transfer, added the cover sheet, threw it in there. About 315 for 15 seconds, done deal records. Now this one is a cold peel, so I took my little marble slab for a quick cool, threw it in for a second press, and it is beautiful. DTF, pass. Okay, HTV Run also sent me some vinyl, right? Whole bunch of really cool stuff. Look at some gold, some silver, a lot of really great stuff. I'm going to go with these right here. So I put them on the cutting mat. I threw them in and cut. First, we cut the navy one, and then we cut the white one. Then we threw the shirt on the press, threw the transfers on top of the shirt. 315 for about 10 seconds. All right, pull it out. Take off the cover sheet and let's give this a nice peel. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. And look at this one. Amazing. So got to tell you, vinyl pass. So here's our TKO transfer. Took it, threw it on, right? 315 for seven seconds. Pull it out. Take off the cover sheet. Peel, absolutely Gee. beautiful. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Regular transfers, TKO, pass. Sublimation, guys. So we brought out the Sawgrass 1000 and then we printed out these red and yellow Flizz Hours. Then we broke out the Silky Socks. Shout out to SilkySocks.com. These are the red ones. Now you need this cardboard thing that you put in them to get them nice and flat so you can get a nice print. Then we taped down our artwork face down. We hit the sublimation setting, which is about 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Print, pull it out, take off the printout, and look at that. Let's do the other side. Then we shift the uh, sock around the cardboard so we can get a nice print without leaving any white. Throw the print out on there, tape it, throw it in, print. Boom, look at that. We have ourselves a beautiful sock. Honestly, I didn't think this was gonna work on this printer, but it did, looks fantastic. So sublimation, pass. So pros and cons, guys. Let's do the pros. Size is nice and small. The weight, this thing only weighs about 38 pounds, right? The price, the price is amazing. There's gonna be a link down there in the description box. It's one of the best price 
heat presses out there. The ease of use, you see how easy it is. It's literally the push of a button. Automate it, right? You can just take it, push it in, and it prints automatically, right? And it's a workhorse, meaning you could just keep printing over and over and over again without your arm getting tired from pulling down that lever, all right? So you just press the button and make it happen. The cons, the only cons that I really can see is the size is 15 by 15. So the really big prints, right? You're going to either have to use another press or you're going to have to print it, flip it around and then print it again. But the biggest drawback to me is the fact that you don't get to dial in your own pressure. I know for some people that, you know, is a is a big deal, right? But guess what? There is a hack. Um, how it's currently set up, it takes a, it can feel the thickness of the substrate and whatever you're using to transfer, it can feel that and it uh, adjusts the pressure accordingly. But some of us, you know, that's something that we like to do. We may, even though it may say to use a certain pressure, we, we may want to take it heavier or lighter. Here's the deal. There is a hack, right? And it's pretty simple. All you need is to get another pad, right? And put it in there. You can get one on Amazon. In fact, HDV actually makes one. You want to get another pad. So when you're printing, right? You have the pad that it comes with, the other pad on top. It feels that pressure and it gives it more pressure. That is a hack and you can get all the pressure you need. So what's my verdict? Actually, I really like the machine. I think it's low key amazing. I think that that push button thing is like a game changer. Um, does it replace something like a stalls? No. All right. Is it? An alternative, is it something that you can have in your arsenal? Absolutely. Also, I think for any of you guys who are just getting into the game and you want a really good heat press, right? And you don't want to like go broke, this thing is amazing. Also, for any of you guys who are doing, um, I'm definitely going to be using, using it for when I do uh, big runs. I think it is also amazing because, yo, going like this after a while gets real tired. So that push button feature and that automatic feature, amazing. So I'm giving it a thumbs up, right? So, hey, there's going to be a link right here for it and uh, check it out. Anyway, guys, I fooled around with y'all long enough. I'm going to put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door. God bless. Do something good for somebody. And until next time, peace. T-shirt help, brusque.